are you struggling with knowing the right amount of food you should eat per time they have difficulties with portion control then you need to watch this video i'm going to be sharing nine practical steps to help you eat the right portion of food whether you're trying to maintain your weight or to lose weight the very first thing you want to make sure that you're doing is to drink water before you eat you can drink a glass of water 500 ml of water one liter of water before you eat this reduces your hunger pants helps you to be more mindful help you to eat a lesser portion and it helps you to stay full up for longer so drinking water automatically reduces your stomach capacity the next thing you want to do is you want to use a smaller dinnerware so a smaller plate helps you to reduce the portion you're eating and i know that sometimes we struggle with using a smaller plate because before you know it you run back to the kitchen for a second portion but drinking water before you start eating at all will help you avoid that because you feel full for a longer period and you're able to maintain your portion the next thing is you want to use the plate method the plate method is when you're using a regular size flat plate but half of the plate will be vegetables a quarter protein a quarter carbs and then beside your protein you have just a little amount of fat if the fat is not incorporated into your protein or your carbs already so as opposed to the old school way where we, we eat half food on the plate you eat rice then you eat beans on the rice then eat spaghetti on the beans and then you put plantain on the spaghetti and then you put your beef on the spaghetti no 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 you want to make sure that every item you're eating have a seat on your plate the next thing is that you can use your hand as your guide so if it's size for vegetables you can do two servings of a fish size of vegetables or your carbs one serving of a fish size for protein you use your palm so just this place one seven that's one seven of protein and then for you, the tip of your tongue for fat so using your hands as a serving guide can also be very helpful if you're eating out and you're not sure of the nutritional information of the meal you're eating at a restaurant you're eating at a party you're eating at a mama put just eat half of whatever it is that you said that way you're able to maintain your portion and the trick is to drink water before you get started at all the next thing is that you want to eat mindfully and make sure that you eat slowly you take your time to chew your food you savor your meal because it takes about 20 minutes for the brain to register but you're full so if you're a very fast eater you are going to keep eating even after you're full so take your time to chew your meal very well and it will help you to be mindful of your portion and avoid overeating the next tip is to avoid eating straight from the container you definitely want to avoid eating straight from the container usually you should learn to read a full label so um you can see on it how many people it serves so likely you will see that it serves two people it serves four people it serves six people so you want to divide it appropriately and serve it on a plate then you follow all the tips i've shared so far to help you eat the right amount of portion the next thing is if you want to take it to the next level then you want to use appropriate measuring guys like a measuring cup you can get measuring cups at any local store where they sell baking materials you can get it at a shopping mall and you can definitely order online they usually comes as a set of cups and a set of spoons so you measure your food for your vegetables you can definitely eat two cups for carbs one cup for some carbs like oatmeal that you're still going to cook and add some other thing definitely stick to half cup even for cereals you will see it written on it uh the recommended portion is half cup of cereals per seven and for your fat peanut butter two tablespoon as a meal and your oil you either want to do one tablespoon or half a tablespoon depending on what you're eating if you want to take it to the very very next level you can use a food scale a food scale can be used to measure your food and then you measure your protein for example we say oh three ounces of chicken which is how many grams 85 grams so <laughs> how are you able to get that without a full scale so you can use a full scale for it to be more accurate and last but not the least you can use a food diary a food diary helps you to see what you're eating and helps you to monitor what you're eating all week long one of the things that we do is that we only write the healthy food on the food diary no you should write both the healthy and the unhealthy food 
on your food diary. And having a food diary can be a tall order, but easier when you can track your food and you're able to see that you're doing your best to eat 80% of the time because eating all the 100% of the time is really a tall order. So definitely use a food diary.